Good morning and welcome everyone to the very first Creative Leaders Festival. We're so excited to see so many of you here today and I think it's a true testament to the creative spirit and um, you know, the collaborative spirit in, in the sector. The next two days will be packed full of thought leadership insights, peer-to-peer -peer learning, but also loads of virtual networking and we're hoping that you'll be able to pick up loads of ideas and insights to bring back to business. We're also aiming to do a real deep dive into the sector, find out its needs, challenges, but also opportunities, and we'll be pointing you towards all of the support available. Before we start, please let me thank DCMS, GMCA, and the Grove Company, without whom this festival wouldn't have been possible, as well as our wonderful partner regions, Liverpool and Lancashire, and all the fantastic guest speakers we'll be having. So, Without any further ado, let me please welcome our first speaker, Susanna, Director General for Digital and Media Policy in the Department for Digital Culture, Media and Sport. Thank you so much, Sarah. Um, morning, everybody. Firstly, I would like to say a big thank you to Sam from Manchester's Business Growth Hub, who's invited me to speak today and for giving me the privilege to open the Creative Leaders Festival Northwest. I'm really delighted to be here. For anybody that I don't know, as Sarah said, my name is Susanna. I'm the Director General um, for Digital and Media at DCMS, and I have the absolute pleasure of covering the policy space uh, for the creative industries, film, broadcasting, tech, telecoms, and cyber. And through these last nearly six months since the COVID-19 lockdown, it's never been clearer how much we rely on the creative industries and how important it is to preserve this vital ecosystem. The creative industries are a fantastic success story for this country. Economically, they contribute over £111 billion to our economy, worth more than automotive, aerospace and life sciences sectors combined. And before COVID-19, they were growing at three times the rate of the rest of the economy. In addition, these creative sectors form the backbone of our cultural identity. Our lives are enriched and empowered by the films we watch, the games we play and the books we read, and this country produces content that is valued throughout the globe, something that will become even more important to capitalize on as we come out of the transition period at the end of this year. As for today, it's important to say how much we recognize the Northwest as a real powerhouse for the creative industries. As you will know, the Baseljet Review, which paved the way for the creative sector deal in 2018, recognized Manchester as a world leading cluster in media and advertising based around notable centers such as Media City, and the Northern Quarter. This is why DCMS has established the £4 million Creative Scale Up programme, catering for the Greater Manchester, the West Midlands and the West of England regions, to support the aims of the government's industrial strategy of increasing the profitability, scalability and productivity of the creative industries. Its aim is to help scale up creative enterprises in the regions and to inspire local communities. The programme equips creative businesses with the essential tools to expand and grow through mentoring, workshops, peer support and training on how to pitch for investment. We've already seen some really positive feedback with hundreds of applications received from creative businesses keen to engage with this programme. This is very promising. Regional delivery is of the utmost importance to this government and we will continue to work together to deliver this programme effectively and efficiently. This will be more important now than ever, as many businesses have struggled through these tough times from the impact of COVID-19. I recognize that the pandemic presents a significant challenge to many who work in the creative industries, including, of course, self-employed writers, authors, and creators. And this is why the government has announced unprecedented support to protect businesses and workers against the current economic emergency. But we do know that the road to recovery will be challenging. And that's why we're working closely with the Creative Industries Council and what the future for creative industries may look like. I will be really interested to hear the outcomes of the discussions over the next two days, and I very much look forward to working together with Sam and colleagues in the near future. Thank you very much for having me.